Hello Dynamics community and our YouTube subscribers. Today we'll be talking about uh, new functionality in Dynamics 365 for finance and operation omni-channel coupons. Uh, so Microsoft is stating on roadmapdynamics.com that uh, omni-channel coupons are not available in Dynamics 365. To improve the omni-channel experience, retailers will be able to offer their customers call center coupons and retail discounts as a part of one feature. Retailers will be able to define and issue coupons that can be redeemed and tracked across all chats. So this update was released in the version 9. I'm gonna quickly show you the previous version of the Dynamics 365, which is version 7 or 8, and show you what we had previously, and then I'm gonna showcase you the new functionality. So I'm gonna open quickly the Dynamics 365 environment, and I will show you the version that I'm on. And we are on an update seven, as you can see. So we will go to retail module, retail and commerce, and under price and discount management tab, you will see that we have two different type of discounts. One would be our regular discount that can be applied to your retail channel. And then we have a separate sub column, which is called call center coupons. So in the version seven or eight, if you go to your call center coupons, you will see that the form is linked to a specific product. So you would have to create a coupon, then you would include or exclude products from that form. In addition to that, we had a feature called manufacturer coupon. As you can see, it's set to know here, but for some reason, this feature was deprecated in the version uh, nine. So this manufacturer coupon option is no longer available. So let's switch back to version nine and see what's new and how Microsoft tackled that omni-channel coupon option. Uh, so now, uh, if I switch back to Dynamics 365 for operation, and I'm gonna show you a version, you'll see that we're in update nine. So we're gonna go to retail and from there, you will see that we have a new form available called coupons. So previously you would create a call center uh, coupon and you would link that coupon to a product. In Dynamics 365 version 9 it changed. You have to create a discount and link that discount to a coupon. By doing that you have the ability to use a discount link to a price group that is linked to a call center or your brick and mortar store. By doing that, you have the ability to use that discount across all retail channels, whether it's a cold center or a brick and mortar store or your modern POS machine. So I will quickly show you the setup that we have. So first of all, to start, you have to create a discount. So in our case, you will see that we have two discounts created. One is set to 10% and uh, you will see that the coupon code required check mark is not set. That means that this discount does not require a coupon. Or if we switch to a second discount, you will see that the coupon code required is set to yes. That means for that discount to be enabled, you need to have a coupon connected to a discount. Whenever you create a new discount, and uh, we'll call it a demo, and uh, if you check your coupon code required check mark to yes, the status option becomes disabled. What that means, you will not be able to use the discount until you create a coupon and link that coupon to discount. As soon as you do that, the discount will become active. So they're interlinked between discount and a coupon. Uh, so I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna quickly show the discount that we have for the coupon and you will see that it will work for all product lines, so you have the ability to select your specific product. However, the difference is now you're selecting your product in a discount, not a call center coupon like in the previous version. So let's switch back to the coupons and I'll show you the coupon that I have available. So in our case, we have a coupon called uh, CPN0026. Uh, the coupon is active. You have the ability to set a limit for the coupon use and it's based on the company, channel, or customer. So that means if you say that uh, you have a usage limit 10 times per channel, the coupon will be available 10 times for a call center or your retail store. Then you have your validity date, and the interesting option here, you have your discount offer, and the discount offer, this is the discount we've created or we looked at in the previous form. So additionally to that, you have to link your price group to the coupon and you'll see 
that this coupon has a price group coupon link to it. So what I did, I linked that price group to my call center and to my uh, retail store uh, Boston. and I'm gonna show you the setup that I have. Let's go back to our retail module. Uh, we'll click uh, on uh, call centers, all call centers. And the one that we're using will have a price group coupon link to it. So you can see that the discounts will be applied at this uh, retail channel. Uh, if we go back to our Boston retail channel, I will show you that the same price group is applied at that retail channel. Under price groups, you'll see that the coupon is applied as well. So let's go to price simulator and see how the discounts will be applied to a sales order line. Uh, so I'm gonna create a new record called demo. Demo, I'm gonna pick my channel. In our case, I'm gonna select the Boston channel and I will select a coupon code that I will be testing, which is CPN027. And we'll add a sales order line with a product 01. And you'll see right away that uh, two discounts were applied to this sales order line. One was a 10% off and the other one was our coupon discount, which uh, took 50% off the price. So as you can see, the original price was 69 and the sales price we have is 31.49. And uh, in the offer code column, you'll see that 10% and the coupon was applied to the sales order line. One thing that I want to mention, if you have multiple discounts, like in my case, make sure that the discount concurrency mode is set to compounded so the system will compound multiple discounts. Uh, so let's try this uh, in a real life scenario and uh, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration in a modern POS. So I will add a product to my transaction 001. You will see the discount of $7, which is 10%. Our original discount was applied to this product and we will be applying a coupon code to this transaction. So going back to our coupon form, you will see that the barcode is set to uh, 4500 CPN 027 and I'm going to add, enter exactly the same information here uh, 00 CPN 0027 click enter and you'll see that the additional 50% was applied to that transaction. The next thing I want to show you is how this works in a sales order transaction from a reach client. Uh, so we'll create a new sales order transaction and I'm as a user is uh, linked to a call center. So this is how the system will default the call center on this sales order. I will click new. What I will do, I will add a product, 001. And you will see that the price will be populated with our $7 discount off, which is our original 10% discount. I'm gonna select the pricing tab here. And as the normal case would be, I would need to enter a coupon when I'm taking a phone call from a customer. I would go here and enter my coupon. Uh, in this case, you need to enter your coupon code ID. So I'm going to copy that, enter it here, click Save, close this, and nothing happens. And this is probably why you hear if you search for... Uh, coupon discounts in Dynamic 365 organically in YouTube or Google, the discounts are not working. So you'll see that the price remains the same. I'm gonna show you the price. It's only seven bucks off. So in the previous Dynamics uh, versions in 2012, as soon as you enter a coupon, the discounts will be calculated. The coupon discount will be calculated. So I'm gonna call this a bug. So what do you need to do in Dynamics 365 version 9 to apply a coupon to a sales order transaction? You need to apply the coupon before you enter sales order line, which kind of makes no sense if uh, a customer remember that they have a discount coupon and they wanna use, so the rep would have to recreate a sales order transaction from scratch, which I don't really like. So. I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to enter a coupon code. I'm going to close this and I'm going to enter same SKU, same line. And you will see that now we have a discount of $38.50 being applied to this sales order line. 
under pricing, you see the discount amount here. So this is a good feature that you can use coupons across multiple retail channels. So let's talk about the bet. So in the previous versions in Dynamics AX 2012, if you click total, you were able to see the actual coupon amount being applied to the transaction. Now, if your total coupon amount is set to zero, I've tried many different variations, it never worked for me. So this is number one. Uh, however, if you go to your uh, sales or line and under pricing, which is here, price details, you can still see what type of discount was applied to that sales order line. So from here, you'll see that the 3150 was applied and it belongs to the discount 0130, which is linked to our coupon. So this will conclude my uh, demonstration for today. In addition to that, we'll launch a new initiative. If you wish to see a demo of a specific functionality in in Dynamics 365 for finance and operation, feel free to drop us a comment under this YouTube video and we'll be happy to review this functionality for you. Thank you and until next time, goodbye.